Yesterday, during the game between Germany and the United States, Lane Hudson got caught with his pants down in overtime. Everybody's seen it, let's take another look. Fred Tiffles dances his way over the blue line like he's Fred Flintstone, and he turns Lane Hudson inside out. Hey, I'm the first one to admit it. He folded Hudson's clothes while he was still in them, and then he would score the overtime winner, advancing his team to the gold medal game against Canada today. Now, you hate to see it if you're a Habs fan, and holy crap, right after the game, social media kind of blew up about it. People were crawling out of the woodwork to troll Lane Hudson under the bus. And it was, it was pretty upsetting, okay? I, I haven't seen anybody treat Lane Hudson this bad since Michael Jackson dangled him over a balcony. But do you want to know why people were all over him? It's because he's a wicked young hockey player, okay? And some people don't want to admit it, but he is. That's why. And if he was a nobody, then, well, nobody would even be talking about that play. But 19-year-old Lane Hudson's got a bright future ahead of him, and this is why he was under the microscope after the game yesterday and just like every other 19 year old his age his game is not perfect okay he's still got a lot of work ahead of him as he transitions into an nhl player but i mean overall at the end of the day you guys gotta admit the good that we seen from Lane Hudson during the World Championships definitely outweighed the bad. I mean, I didn't even know if he was going to be playing regular minutes. I thought he was just going to be some kind of an extra defenseman. But not only did he play the majority of the games, but he also led his team amongst defensemen in points. The goals that he scored were just highlight reels, and his skills were on full display for the whole world to see. We all witnessed it, and it was against men, not against boys anymore. He put up these numbers against fully grown, hairy ass men, and that, that actually shut a lot of people up about him until, well, this happened. But overall, this was a pretty tight game, okay? The US actually had plenty of opportunities to end this one much earlier, with even Lane Hudson himself putting on a show during overtime. This is one of my favorite shifts right here. Jeez, talk about being deceptive. And it's too bad that they didn't end it right here on this particular play, because I mean, hey, this overtime memory would have been a lot better for Habs fans than what happened later. In the offensive zone, he's dynamite. At his own end of the rink, yeah, he's got some wrinkles to work out of his game like we mentioned earlier. But the truth is, most all of these offensive defensemen are gonna burn you once in a while. I'm sure all of you guys remember when a certain P.K. Subban played with the Canadians. Man, he could have you on the edge of your seat while you're watching him play. Carrying the puck up the ice, he was also pretty deceptive as well. But for every two or three good plays that P.K. Subban made offensively, he would also turn over the puck once or twice, and it would drive the baloney pony insane. But it's gonna happen, okay? If you're the type of guy that likes having the puck on your stick a lot, then you're also going to be a guy that coughs up the puck a lot. That's just how it is. And this particular play, of course, he didn't actually turn over the puck. This was generated off of a rush. But again, he's 19, he's developing, and the fact that he had as good of a tournament as what he did is pretty special in my opinion. So he does have one game left. The U.S. play Latvia today for the bronze medal, while Canada is set to play Fred Flintstone and Germany in the gold medal game. So don't forget to tune in and cheer on the boys. You can let me know your thoughts on Lane Hudson's tournament so far down in the comments section. Don't forget to smash the like button with a bopping hammer before you leave here. And hey, oh, see you next time.